right, you guys. So we're uh, we're part way to the ruins right now. Uh, the road was just getting a little bumpy, so we we're getting jostled around. So we uh, decided to air down. We're gonna disconnect the sway bars, and it's gonna be a smooth ride. So we'll get there quick. found on the way to the ruins. Old, old homestead. This is so awesome. Yeah, we need to check this out. There's even some old stables over here too. Some old stables. I think, it, oh, it's an old water tank we'll check out. Oh. Everybody and their mother uh, wrote and carved stuff in here. All right, this. Looks like uh, someone was camping or, or staying out here for a little bit with the water bottles and the foam. Looks like people definitely did camp out here at one time. This is an awesome old homestead though. It's probably an old hunting shack. Yeah, this is extremely cool. See Victoria in the background. You tell this is an old house. We'll need to do some research on this, but this place looks awesome. And the people that were here, they definitely had a nice view. So it just looks like a really old steel tank that they used to help hold water for cattle. It is a little windy, but I'm just taking a quick walk over the hill. Yeah, this land is beautiful. We bought some uh, pre-made patties that had American cheese in them. Then we threw a slice of Swiss on top and we have the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale and honey spice mustard we tossed on the bun. We're gonna go uh, enjoy dinner, have a trail soda, and uh, watch this sunset, guys.
So uh, last night was awesome. We didn't hear a single vehicle drive by. We didn't hear anything other than planes. The wind was blowing kind of hard from the uh, blowing south. It was just flapping our tent the entire night. So we did wake up a few times, but we did get a new three inch pad to put on top of our two and a half inch mattress in the tent. And it made a world of difference. We slept so much better. So uh, if you guys need a boost to your mattress, we're gonna put a link to that pad in the description. It's memory foam and it comes with a cover and everything. It's super awesome. But uh, we're up now. We're gonna get a start to the morning. I think we had some, some visitors last night in camp. A few cows. No, don't run away. Oh, they got some babies with them too. As me and Natalie were on our way up here, we seen there's a fire of uh, either a controlled burn or a forest fire about northeast of Flagstaff. And uh, yeah, the wind was blowing south all night last night. So you could just see how hazy and smoky the entire area is. It's just insane. Like we could smell, it smelled like a campfire all night inside the tent. It was crazy. You're a big dude, number 55. Oh no, okay, all right. <laughs> I don't want us, I don't want you to total our Jeep. He's looking back at us, he wants to fight. Tuck and tire. That's awesome. A little flexy. Yeah, I think with uh, me constantly filming and Natalie keep uh, keep driving on these trips, it's gonna be very soon before she starts uh, out wheeling me. And then uh, I think we'll have to get Natalie her own rig sometime soon. isn't too bad so far. Yeah, not at all. This is insane, all the, the cow droppings. I would have never guessed cows getting up here. All right, we are almost there, guys. Whoa. This is amazing. Just inside the rock face like that. This is absolutely amazing. Best ruins we've seen yet, huh? Yeah. Look, there's still the plaster on the walls, the old wooden supports on the inside. Oh my gosh. All right, so, so the thing with Indian ruins is you do not want to touch anything in them. You don't want to touch the wood. You don't want to touch the stone, the plaster on the walls, anything. Because the oils from your hands and anything like that will degrade the wood faster than it already is. You see a little channel into there? Oh, wow. Go in there, check it out. I need light. The roof on that is still intact. 
It's pretty dark inside this one. Really dark. Natalie's checking it out with the the oh, phone. Really? All right, we're making our way into the biggest room. You could just feel the cold air in here. Yeah, that's fresh liquid. Figures, people can't leave things alone. They have to pee in here. Shine it on the roof. Yeah, the whole roof is intact still. No, that's water coming from there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You could see it. I gotta get some of this view. The view is breathtaking. This what this is the view the people have that lived here. Yeah, this is the other room. The roof gave out just a little bit. But you could tell people have been in here to uh to help preserve these ruins with a steel support, which is awesome. We should try to keep these ruins around for as long as humanly possible. These places are just they're history, they're historical. See the small sticks above the large logs to make the roof. Okay, these were, uh, how would you describe these ruins? Treacherous. Treacherous to get to. I think, uh, would you say breathtaking once you get here? Yeah. Yeah, tons of time spent building these ruins for sure. It was just, yeah, the view, just the structure itself, after who knows how long, probably thousand, you know, fifteen hundred years, just being here, it's still intact. campers we are uh, off the trail finally we are airing up and then we're gonna head our way back to town to get some food this trip was probably about one of my favorites we've ever had just amazing homestead perfect camp spot with the views of the red rocks and then that Indian ruins to top it off it can't get any better but if you've gotten this far in the video I really appreciate you guys watching thank you so much Please like and subscribe and watch some of our other videos and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.